What's up, guys? It's your boy, Beef Stew, doing this again. Doing another training video. It's my birthday today. I turned 27 today, January 10th. Um, I'm not getting any younger. Sure feels like it. But uh, before we get too far into this, uh, I filmed this a little different. I only filmed the uh, working sets on this uh, workout. And I also moved the camera angles around a bit because one of my buddies, Raj, who's a pretty good videographer, recommended I do that. And it makes it a bit less monotonous to watch, even though it's already, you know, it's, it's going to be monotonous. You know that come into this. But, anyways, um, what's new here? What's new here? Oh, let's go through the session. So. It's a push day, starting off with some lateral raises, three sets of laterals, two sets of a flat press machine, two sets of an incline press, and then uh, incline uh, cable fly. You'll see what I mean when, when we get there. Um, and then three sets of laterals, and then two tricep exercises, like two or three sets each. So that's that. Um, most of what I want to talk about today was... Well, just some uh, little updates. Uh, like I said, it's my birthday. Woohoo. I'm doing nothing for my birthday. My mom's making me a cake. I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna have my cake tomorrow. Um, better late than never. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is this is like I'm like three or four days into my cruise phase now. So my off season ended last weekend. Um, and I'll be taking a little break here until. February 17th when I start prep. I'm uh, probably going to get blood work done in a couple of weeks here, make sure everything's kosher or good enough to, you know, get after it a little more. Um, I, I feel pretty good, like my food's going down fine. I feel healthy, or as healthy as one can feel at 285, being a mega midget like me. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I'm going to be guest posing at the Idaho Cup. I think it's the Idaho Cup at the beginning of June this year. So that'll be right in between two of my shows, uh, California and Toronto. Those are two weeks apart. So the weekend in between, I'll be flying over to Idaho and guest posing for the, the Craig production show over there. A um, little background on the Craigs. Uh, Brad and Elaine Craig uh, used to be the promoters of the Emerald Cup, which was the show I've done many times. I guest posed there last year. Um, really good folks. They've been running bodybuilding shows for like 40 years now, I think, at least. Um, so they're like they're like part of the furniture up here in the Northwest as far as uh, bodybuilding goes. Um, so it's pretty cool to be able to go over and guest pose one of their shows in Idaho because they've kind of been running the show up here. And they're, they're good folks. They're really good promoters. They take good care of the athletes. So that'll be fun. Um, on to the topic of the video. Um, most of what I want to talk about today is something I've been struggling with, uh, which may sound pathetic, you know, given, I don't know, just hear me out. Um, I am not very good at social media stuff, as you can tell with these YouTube uploads. They've been super consistent. Not. Um, so, you know, this is one of the things that I need to work on. It's like literally part of my job now. It's not just like a thing I do for the hell of it when I feel like it. You know, I have not just obligations to my sponsors, but I have goals that I want to reach, you know. My primarily, you know, I want to grow my coaching business and work with more people and the best way to do that is by having more eyeballs on me and the best way to do, have more eyeballs on me is to grow my social media presence um, so that means putting out content um, which I have been kind of I go through phases of being like consistent with it and then not consistent you know I'll go like a week posting every day on Instagram and then five days will go by and I've had nothing put up which is not good uh, I need to, you know, with, with most things, bodybuilding included, consistency is the most important thing, just showing up. Um, I think, you know, this is a tip given to me by a couple of people uh, independently, but uh, they recommended that I just kind of lower the bar on what I find acceptable to post. Um, you know, so like, I fall into the trap oftentimes of overthinking, like, oh, is this 
whether or not this 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 clip or whatever this picture is good enough to put up there and permanently be on my social media wall when it doesn't fucking matter i mean you guys can probably all attest to this everyone's social media fucking attention span and memory is super short nowadays um and when the goal is to just i mean you kind of want to as far as strategy goes you want to just be consistent and consistently be showing up in people's feeds is like a constant presence and when you're always there then you know people tend to pay attention more and follow along more and that's all that's all good for the the old algorithm um not that i really understand that all that much but um yeah that's kind of like the most the biggest hurdle that i'm getting over mentally and i'm getting better at it um beyond that you know i have to actually capture content to post which i'm also getting better at um i mean <laughs> i i like to rag on them i usually rag on people carrying tripods around when you know they look like children um but i'm kind of becoming that guy you know i'm toting a, a tripod around with me with a whole camera set up um to film my sessions and my you know posing or whatever the fuck and uh, I've become the thing that I swore to destroy, but uh, it's, it's part of the gig, you know, so here we are. Um, but, you know, just constantly having that on me, recording stuff, just so you have it later on. you got a whole bank of stuff to pull from, cut clips out of videos, screenshots, whatever. And, um, you know, that'll, that'll go a long way to just kind of make it um, easier to pump out content consistently and it doesn't have to be pure gold every time you throw it up there you just have to consistently do it so that's something i'm aware of and i'm working on forgive me if i post bullshit from time to time i just i'm trying to get into this rhythm and i think the best way to keep myself in that rhythm will be to just make myself a schedule to stick to so i don't have to think about it like on monday you post a old picture from prep and on tuesday you post a training tip or you know it's just you know make it very easy and straightforward for me to follow along because um the easier it is for me the more likely i am to do it and i mean i've got a bunch of old pictures from like prep and you know, I'm, I'm obviously recording stuff now i'm going to be starting prep pretty soon so i've got lots to draw from i just need to get in there and do it and be consistent with it um besides that you know, uh, I think my biggest problem, honestly, since since quitting my job and having more free time in my day has just been distractions. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have a whole desk set up here that is kind of my workstation, uh, but it's also where I eat my meals at. It's where I fuck around at when I'm, when I'm not doing anything. Um, and unfortunately, I also fuck around here when I'm supposed to be working on you know, a video like this, for example, um, or like working on client plans or something like that. And basically I'm, I'm very distracted to be blunt. And, uh, so I'm kind of taking some steps to fix that. Um, when I'm like focused on a task nowadays, uh, I basically just flip my phone over and put it in the other room. So, and, you know, put it on mute so it doesn't distract me at all. Um, a habit that I, have had for like ages and I still have is uh, when I'm like working on something I don't really want to be working on it's not that interesting I'll just like tab over to my internet browser and uh, go to YouTube and just start watching videos and I do that so fucking much it's terrible so I just blocked YouTube on my uh, on my computer uh, because that's what it takes for me uh, and I'm basically only going to unblock it for myself when I uh, when I have to upload a video like this because it's just it's just a huge fucking time sink for me I, I waste like hours of my day watching just like the most random stuff with I mean, just like car stuff or gun videos or I don't know it's, it's funny it's it's fun but it's a big distraction I usually uh, fall into the trap of like okay it's time to eat sit down at my desk with the meal in front of me looking at my computer I'm like okay I'll just watch a YouTube video while I'm eating and then I am so focused on the YouTube video I lose focus on my food it takes me half an hour to finish the meal and then I continue watching videos after I'm done with it, you get the idea it 
it's not good. So I just blocked it, and uh, I think that'll that'll make a big impact on like how focused I am. Um, another thing that I, I used to do when I was in school is I would uh, I, I was never really able to do homework like when I was at home, whether that was my apartment or like a dorm or for in a frat house for a little bit. So I would always like go to the library or someplace else to work on my homework because I just couldn't get shit done when I was there. It was like this space was not for doing homework and I couldn't get anything done there. So um, I may end up, um, you know, heading to the library, like the public library, to uh, have a place to work and focus when I uh, when I need to get stuff done. Um, because there's, there's one pretty nearby here me in town, so uh, it might be a thing I need to do. And I guess the last thing I kind of want to work on for myself is my schedule. Um, I've been sleeping in later than I want to and staying up late. Uh, part of it is because my girlfriend works, she works like a swing shift at uh, the, her, the prison she works at. She's a prison guard, she's pretty sick. Um, and uh, so, you know, she gets home at like midnight and then we're up until one in the morning getting ready for bed and whatever. So uh, that's not great. Um, I, I need to start going to bed earlier on my own and uh, waking up earlier because once I get into prep, I'm going to need to, you know, when I have to do fasted cardio in the morning and, and all this other stuff. And, you know, I'm, I will be a lot busier when, when prep starts. So I, I need to shift my whole schedule back a couple of hours and you know, stop staying up so late. Um, and a lot of the staying up late is due to procrastination, like I was talking about earlier. So if I if I take those steps and start getting more efficient with my time, that's going to contribute a lot to, it's going to contribute a lot to, uh, you know, being able to get to bed on time and um, just being more regimented with everything. Uh, <laughs> this kind of sounds ridiculous I'm sure it sounds kind of ridiculous coming from somebody who's like a professional bodybuilder when like your, your life is supposed to be super regimented and mine usually is it's just I've been adjusting to this new setup with you know a different job now at home where I am in charge of all my own hours and everything that's obviously led me to traps but you know I when I go to bed at night I'm like man I was not productive today and it's I feel like I go to bed like that most days, and that's just not good. Not a good way to feel when you're going to sleep, and you tell yourself tomorrow will be different, and then you go and do the same bullshit. So I'm sick of my bullshit, and uh, consider this. Well, I've already started some of this stuff, but um, I uh, I'm just just sick of not achieving the goals that I have for myself. So these are the steps I'm taking to try to fix it. And uh, I know that once I start prep, uh, these things usually kind of fall into place for me. I start waking up earlier anyways. Um, I start getting more efficient with time regardless. Um, and things just kind of fall into place. But I want to get out ahead of it and kind of prove myself that I can do this on my own, of my own volition, without you know being forced to do so by having prep obligations. So... We're coming up on the uh, end of the video here now, so let me know. I'm going to be starting my prep vlog series pretty soon. And quite frankly, I don't know what the fuck to put in it because my life's pretty boring day to day. Um, let me know if you guys if you guys are actually still watching at this point. Um, what kind of stuff you want to see with my prep. Um, you know, probably be going shopping, prepping my food, just bodybuilder stuff. And uh, some dinking around as well because... Uh, That'll add some spice to it. Uh, I wanna, I wanna have fun with this and you know let people follow along with my antics, if you guys care to. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, looking forward to getting this show on the road in a few weeks here. All right, bye.